secret to surviving air travel? You walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. How does that help you survive air travel when you're not even on a plane anymore? Or not even about to get on a plane? Kids, take a trip back to the 80s when handguns were allowed on planes, smoking was allowed in airports, pregnant women were advised to drink by their female bosses. Can you handle a little sip? That baby's ready to tend bar. 14 year old teenagers were allowed to work as limo drivers, and gas was f***ing 74 cents a gallon. That baby's ready to tend bar. Wait, what does that mean? Does it mean the baby's so close to being due it might as well be old enough to tend bar, like 21? Or does it mean that this pregnant lady drank so much during the last nine months that the baby's already an alcoholic? The party. They're the only ones left in the building. Well then why the f*** did you make him type all that in the computer if you knew where he was headed? Obvious cocaine addict is obvious. Yeah, I have my eye on his private bathroom. Wait, Ellis has a private bathroom, yet he decides to do coke in Holly's office? That's great, John. John McClane will now provide 50% of the movie's dialogue with himself. This asshole needs a flashbang to take out one security guard. This is the 1980s version of Control-Alt-Delete. Bad guys have no time for stairs. Bad guy totally disregards the Pacific Bell employee's only sign. And yet another stressful air adventure is magically vanquished. Seriously, Carl could have f***ed this whole thing up by doing this. What would have happened if his brother didn't get his job done in time? Everyone ignores Hans and his gun-toting crew when they arrive, even the ones right next to the elevator. MBA, Harvard, 1970. How does he know all this shit about Takagi but not know what he looks like? And if he knows what he looks like, why does he bother asking which one is Takagi? This is the longest f***ing one floor up elevator ride in the history of film. If the missiles get fired from like the fourth floor, then why do the bad guys waste time in the beginning lugging them all the way up to the 35th floor? Was it just so John could see them and know these guys are serious villains? Because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds. Holy sh**! Nakatomi has $640 million in bearer bonds? After the Fiscal Responsibility Act was passed in 1982? After this revelation, I'm not sure John McClane is killing the right people in this movie. I mean, sure, Hans Gruber and his crew are a bunch of murderous thieves, but what kind of shit is Nakatomi involved with? He has cell phone coverage in an underground parking garage in the 1980s? There are rules for policemen. Yeah, that's what my captain keeps telling me. What was John expecting would happen here? Sure, there are rules for policemen, as good old Tony says, but if the bad guy refuses to drop his weapon, can't you just shoot his ass? Now I have a machine gun. Sure, John, it's you against a bunch of well-funded, heavily armed bad guys. Rub it in. That should make your job easier. Hey, John, now you don't have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. John's shirt is most definitely still pretty white while he's in the air ducts, but in the very next scene, the shirt is either changed color or we skipped over some kind of mud wrestling based deleted scene. He's driving his car, Stevie Wonder? That's racist or something. Discount Huey Lewis. Notre Dame on top of USC. Well, there's your first big clue, Al. Notre Dame and USC playing on Christmas Eve? in the 80s? I realize movie terrorists are dummies, but this is literally the least effective way to go about hitting your target with bullets. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until further... Oh, I'm very sorry. Can you actually interrupt someone else on a two-way radio? Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillon. Hans is probably right about all those pop culture heroes except Rambo. John McClane and Rambo had a falling out over money. Eat it, Harvey! In the world of local news, eat it is the worst insult imaginable. Three down, four to go. And don't waste time talking to me. Theo is not performing a task that requires him to stop what he's doing in order to talk. Holly makes an obvious look over to her family pictures. Hans sees the one that's face down and somehow doesn't feel the need to look at it. Going in? Man, that's crazy. There could be over 30 hostages in there for all we know. Instead of making a few simple phone calls that would clear up the situation, the LAPD, God bless him, decides to go with the kick-ass first and then figure out what's going on method. If Argyle can hear the bad guys on a regular old limousine CB, why aren't the cops smart enough to be listening to the bad guys as well, thereby finding out in advance what's in store for their sneaky breach team? Damn it, Uli. First a Nestle Crunch bar and now a Mars bar? How will we ever settle this war of the candy companies if you keep switching sides? It's panic fire, they can't see anything. They're shooting at the lights. If they were shooting at the lights, why couldn't they hit them at first? Those things are huge. Yeah, how in the world do we get into these glass doors if they're locked? I mean, we clearly need a blowtorch, right? The police have themselves an RV. This RV takes so long to drive to the tower that the bad guys can wheel a rocket launcher in place, even fumble with it a bit, assemble it, and then fire it before they get there. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast! No! Didn't you already break the glass before? These guys are professional. They're motivated. Is this how Ellis negotiates multi-million dollar deals? How is Nakatomi not bankrupt? The material this suit is made from. Bro, are you all right? He's trying to fire then a thousand-year-old Twinkie. Why would McLean bother to give the play-by-play -play of his Twinkie meal over the radio? This isn't the kind of coke that Ellis likes. Jeez, how much did that bad guy pour into the glass? 
Like a quarter of the can? Bad guys are dicks to dicks. Did John give Hans a gun with bullets in it? Of course he didn't. He's John f***ing McLean. So now that he's got confirmation that this is Hans Gruber, why doesn't he blow him away right now? We're back in business. Or follow the bloody footprints out that exit door and shoot McLean in the head, maybe. The circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. Wait a minute, this whole plan relied on the FBI cutting the power? And they had no backup plan in case they didn't. And everyone who signed on to do this job with Hans was okay with that? They got the universal terrorist playbook and they're running it step by step. This is a party f***ing line. Not only would Powell not be allowed to tell touching stories about shooting children, he also wouldn't be allowed to tell McLean jack shit about what the FBI are doing. Also, why is Al disgusted with the FBI for this move? Does he know the terrorists are actually thieves and that they need the power to be turned off to open the safe? When did Carl go from, I'm gonna fill this guy with a hail of bullets as soon as possible because he killed my brother, to, but first I need to tell him how personal this is before I kill him? These guys have worse aim than f***ing stormtroopers. So, did someone get in the elevator, go to the 30th floor, and then explode when they got there? Oh, there is not a f***ing ambulance in this truck. It was filled with a bunch of dudes, remember? So this ambulance was supposedly gonna fit 13 terrorists and 640 million in bear bonds, and they were what? Gonna smash through the security gates after they blew up the roof? Remember, Theo destroyed the computer that controlled the security gates. They were either gonna have to smash through them or wait for someone to cut through them. And they didn't think anyone would notice the ambulance that somehow got there before the gates were closed? Also, to Parma. yippee ki mother <laughs> Yeah, let's review the movie's most quotable line and have a laugh about it during this situation. <laughs> what? How did this asshole get out of those chains hanging by his neck from a pretty decent height? I would say Carl is Houdini, but Carl is clearly better than Houdini. I'm not the one who just got butt f on national TV, Dwayne. That's the last time, Bender. That's the last time you ever make me look bad in front of those kids. Do you hear me? I make $31,000 a year and I've got a home and I'm not about to throw it away on some punk like you. Forget it, Fenkman. You had your chance to cooperate, but you thought it'd be more fun to insult me. Well, now it is my turn, wise ass. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. It was my father's fucking watch. Do you have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. You know how you can keep yourself occupied this holiday season? Hulu Plus. While the rest of your family is arguing too much. Never think I might know what I'm doing! Or hugging too much. Brothers gotta hug. Or whatever else they do during the holidays too much. <laughs> you can find yourself a nice corner and unwind with some of the best television content around. Like one of my personal favorites, Shark Tank. See, I'm not usually home on Friday night when it airs because I'm such a ladies' man. I am an expert in the ways of love. So typically I use Hulu Plus to get my fix. If you like Shark Tank or SNL or Jimmy Kimmel Live or Scandal, you should head down to HuluPlus.com slash sins. Why? Because we have a special two-week trial offer just for you fine people. I'm kind of a big deal. So try it for free for a whole two weeks. This is like discovering plutonium by accident! <laughs> now that'll get you through Christmas, New Year's, and whatever the hell else you're going to do the first week of January. <laughs> So what are you waiting for? Go now. Probably you fools. Go to huluplus.com slash sins today.